Yeah, good morning, boys and girls. My first night in Burnaby, or technically Vancouver. So this is my, yeah, first official night in what will be my first home base in a long time since March this year. Yeah, so we ended up staying at Arona, er, or beside Arona here. And you know what? Oh my God, it's very humid in the van this morning. It's like I can feel dampness and everything's wet. And uh, yeah, there's a couple others. Yeah, you can even see it on the screen, right? Yeah, there's a few others that parked in the industrial strip here. So, and this is what we're gonna call, yeah. Oh. Oh, one of the other things I pointed, I want to, one of the other things I want to mention was, uh, I like without the black molding on the truck van, but still trying to wake up. Yeah, it looks much better like that. Now the van just needs to be, uh, a little bit of clean up and paint touch up. And I got to paint the mirrors white and the front bumper and some of the small things. That's on the agenda, but yeah, very fogged up. So here is lunch, breakfast, whatever you want to call it. Actually, this was breakfast. Uh, yesterday, believe it or not, I never had any coffee in the morning. Oh my God. Or all day, sorry, excuse me. Uh, that's unheard of for me. Usually coffee every day, but sometimes it's good to take a break. So, wow, <laughs> just didn't feel like it. So, yeah, but uh, this was breakfast. Uh, and this is lunch. So, yeah, we met up with uh, Ray Smith. Uh, really there. nice guy, actually. It was a great conversation. We uh, talked about van living, van life, a little bit of politics, a little bit of everything. Uh, our past experiences, everybody's had their ups and downs and issues and struggles, so we went through a bit of that. And uh, thanks, Ray, for chatting with me. It's great, looking forward to catching up with you again and going through with a couple of ideas of maybe meeting up with a few other van lifers in our YouTube van lifers in Vancouver area, Metro Vancouver, so we'll see how that works out. And um, yeah, uh, I, maybe I, I could be like other van dwellers, maybe that I get van envy and you envy what they have or their unit shouldn't say unit oh my god be careful on that <laughs> but they're their their van and I like that he has a a nice camperized fully contained uh, van it's a high top he's got porta potty shower a little tub um, he's got everything uh, the a stove there he doesn't have to go out like some of us and buy a little buddy stove uh, to keep our stove, um, a little buddy heater to keep warm or other things like that. Everything is self-contained and that is so, so yeah, nice. That, that's, I'm, I'm considering uh, keeping this one maybe as a spare backup because it, it was a cheap van for me. I paid 1500 bucks for it. It's mint. It's only got 114,000 miles on it. So why would I get rid of it? It doesn't make sense. And uh, yeah, so that's where we're going. So thanks Ray. And uh, we'll see you next time. Okay, it says best before December 23rd. Lots of preservatives. Yeah, I want to be preserved. I'll, let, I'll live a long life that way. Here's something interesting I would like to take in. It's a talk and discussion on the survivor of the Hiroshima bombing. So, interesting. Yeah, here's what else we bought when I was shopping. Uh, potato chips. Oh my god, they're coming out with some pretty crazy flavors lately. I tried the poutine ones, didn't care for them. And I do love turkey stuffing, so we're gonna give it a try. What the hell? I didn't buy much for groceries. I bought that meat, mystery meat and butter. Yeah, just a couple small things. Bread and uh, lunch, breakfast today is pierogies with cheese and 
I'm gonna add some crispy fried onions on it. I, I actually like these and this package was cheap. It was like three bucks and 17 cents. And I've had this for God a month now. So. It's such a good feeling to know you're alive. It's such a happy feeling. You're growing inside. And when you wake up ready to say, I think I'll make a snappy new day. All right. Welcome to Rain Coover. They said it rains a lot here. It's been off and on, but. Uh, well, at least in the winter, supposedly it rains a lot. So it doesn't matter to me. It's not minus 30 and I'm not shoveling snow. Oh my god. Oh, 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 I don't want that. So yeah, the plan is today to go buy some slippers. I've been wanting to for a long time now. And the floor is a little cold in here. It's not insulated on the floor. So yeah, my feeties get cold. So. We're gonna support Walmart since they supported my sleeping night for many days. So let's do it. Selection, selection, selection. Which pair of foot warmers do I want? Eh, we don't need fancy ones. That's too fancy. On sale, six ninety seven. That works. Something like that. Nothing fancy, but has a soft. Uh, it's not a hard bottom. It's a soft, flexible bottom, which is exactly what I want. Nothing too fancy. Just to keep my feeties warm. So how did my new little slippers work? Wow, fantastic! I was much warmer last night especially the bottom of my feet. The best $7 I've spent this month. Yeah. How cute is this? How many people get to drive around in their house, in their house slippers? <laughs> Funny. Oh my God. You make each day a special day. You know how, by just your being here. 